And if you have taken a little trouble to check up in the Quran, like Surah Ali Imran, the birth of Jesus. In this book, in this encyclopedia, the one I'm talking about by Abdullah Yusuf Ali, in the index you see Jesus. And you see there, first reference, a righteous prophet, Allah is such a Nabi. Chapter 6, verse 85. Number 2, second reference, his birth, Padaish Kabayan. Chapter 3, verses 42 onwards. Chapter 19, verses 23 onwards. Take a little trouble, check up these verses, memorize them, like for example, verse 42. So why is qalatil malaikatu ya maryamu? So behold, the angel said, O Mary, inna Allah astafaki wa tahharaki wa astafaki ala nisa ala alameen. That God Almighty has chosen thee, purified thee, chosen thee above the women of all nations. Nations. Tell them, this is what my book says. And when I'm talking that this is Islam, Islam is making me to say that. This is not Christianity, I'm not talking Christianity. This is Islam, that he gave life to the dead by Allah's permission, is in the Quran. That he is the word which Allah bestowed upon Mary, is in the Quran. This is my book, I'm talking about my book, I'm talking about my deen. But when I'm giving reference to it, look at this man, where did this man get it? He says, Maryam alayhi salam was a woman chosen above the women of all nations. I'm asking, why would an Arab go out of his way to tell other Arabs that the Jewess, the mother of Jesus, she was chosen above the women of all nations? Why would he do a thing like that? Provoking his own people. When the Jews were looking down upon the Arabs for 3,000 years, they made insinuations that, you know, Ismail alayhi salam and his children are illegitimate. They said, Hazrat Ibrahim alayhi salam had a wife, Sarah, was his legitimate wife. And then he took to himself a bond woman, a slave woman, a londi, Bibi Hajra. She was actually a princess of Egypt. But the Christians and the Jews say that she was a bond woman, londi thi londi. And as such, her children are worthless, rubbish, illegitimate. They call them Hagarines. The Jews and the Christians call the Bani Ismail Hagarines. And they call Islam Hagarism, the religion followed by the children of Hagar, Hajar, Bibi Hajar. They say Hagar. And they are still looking down upon the Arab brothers, the cousins, who the Jews. And yet this Arab is made to say that Maryam alayhi salam, the mother of Jesus, she was chosen above the women of all nations. I say account for that. Account for that. Was he mad? They said no. He was a mighty genius. There are people and people from different angles. They say Muhammad was the greatest man that ever lived. The most influential man in history, says Michael H. Hart. The greatest leader of all times, says Jews Masarman. And on and on. You see what the enemies have to say. La Martin, he says the greatest man that ever lived is Muhammad. And this, this man is making a thousand million Muslims today to accept Jesus Christ as one of the mightiest messengers of God. If he's not the comforter, What is difficult for you to accept about this man? What is it? This book of his, this book of authority, this Burhan, the Christian's Burhan, the Bible, it gives them a test. In the first epistle of John, chapter 4, verse 1, to find out whether the man is a man of God or not, they have the test in their own book. First epistle of John, chapter 4, verse 1, it says, Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits whether they are of God. For many false prophets have gone out into the world. A false prophet is a false spirit, a true prophet is a true spirit. That is the language of the Bible. How do we know the true from the false? He says, the spirit that confesseth that Jesus is the Christ is of God. Jo Nabi kahega ki Hazrat Isa alayhi salam is Masih. He is from God, says the Bible. What does he say? What does our Nabi Karim say? He is made to say. Again, chapter 3, verse number 45. So, why is till malaika to ya Maryamu? So, behold, the angel said, O Mary, in Allah yubashiru ki bi kalimatim minhu, that Allah gives you glad tidings of a word from him, is muhul masih. His name will be the Messiah, Masih, translated Christ. 
is muhul masi who is ibn maryam jesus the son of mary wajihan fi dunya wal akhirah held in honor in this world and in the hereafter wa min al muqarrabin and the company of those nearest to god wa yukallimu an nas and he will speak to the people fil mahdi wa kahlan in childhood and in maturity wa min as salihin and he shall be of the company of the righteous testification that isa is masi he is the word which allah gave upon mary this is islam i'm talking brothers i'm not talking christianity this is islam but this part of islam for a thousand years we don't touch it we read it all right alhamdulillah but we don't expound it look at this come call them show them give them our tea samosas bajjas khilao unko aur usko batao ke dekho kya hai if you can read it off from your head open the book they have a translation open the book chapter 3 verse 42 ke tum padho read it but if you can read it in arabic and if you can give the translation there are good people among them sincere people you find tears well up in their eyes and allah describes them as people who are faith even among the jews and the christians there are people good people Allah says min humul mu'minuna in ke andar mu'min log hai mu'min among the Jews and the Christians wa aktharuhumul fasikun but the majority of them are perverted transgressors fasik log hai but there are good people among them so what we do we have to approach them show them we assume that each and every one is good if he is a rebellious transgressor if he wants to put up a fight then there are other means of dealing with him and for that a booklet has been given to you all a booklet is the bible god's word now that deals with the fasik people how to deal with them the other one the good man you assume everyone is good open the book give them your tea samosas your curry and rice wallah it can do the job your curry and rice samjo pakistani khana hai you know everybody gets enslaved to it allah ne usme koi dala hai uske andar you know we have acquired it i know in my country the african loves it the color the mixture between black and white they love it the other indians the madrasis they love it and the white man he hogs it he can't resist he eats like a hog our food this is it man i say you can enslave people with food sure give you compassion your hospitality call them talk to them and inshallah if you are they are not converted at least the resistance the enmity will go but we have to start using this one third of the quran which we are not using up till now for a thousand years we haven't done it in egypt for 1400 years there are millions of copts coptic christians the muslims didn't do the job in the lebanon for 1400 years the christian are there we didn't do the job in our midst here there are 100000 or more christians in karachi more than 100000 in, in multan more than 100000 in lahore more than 200000 in sialkot talk to them and talk to them show them share with them what allah has given us with these words i say my dear brothers and sisters you see our nabi akram sallallahu alaihi wasallam is the natural successor to hazrat isa alaihi salam in the fulfillment of prophecies and the fulfillment of his teachings jazakallah for this wonderful opportunity i will Now request brother Didat to come and kindly answer the questions. My name is Wasim Sharif. You have just mentioned in your lecture that uh, about the paraclet. I wanted to ask that uh, Mr. Bill Christ uh, replied that the paraclet is the Holy Spirit which goes inside you. Uh, doesn't it mean that it's a devil or something, and they are worshiping devil, and it has led them? Uh, to alcoholism and uh, incest and all the rubbish things so what do you say about that you see we must be a little more charitable we we will not say the devil these are human beings you can work yourself into any psychological attitude hallucinations do take place people they get possessed with certain ideas and they go into frenzies but we have been discussing that this was supposed to be a prophecy and if the word was a parakletos or perikletos jesus christ didn't speak greek so we have to go back what was the original word and we reason and we have been proving to our listeners if they are christians that that person comforter or parakletos or 
whatever you say is Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam